Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Behind me you can see this beautiful new shape Mazda CX-5. It has the 2.2 Skyactiv diesel engine but it has some modifications to it. I mean this is the newer version of it. So the, from the factory they did some updates and modifications and corrected some mistakes they done along the way. So I'll show you the engine bay, what is changed what has been changed on the engine and also I show you what the fault codes are but I can tell you in advance that the car came for carbon cleaning which we will carry out in a short period of time. The car has two fault codes P0546 and the other one is P1640. The first one is complaining about the, the circuit of the exhaust gas temperature sensor which we think is maybe a faulty sensor or a disconnected sensor. We will check that. And the other one says that there is another fault code in the ECU, we will, which we will check around as well. But let's have a look at the car. It has 98K on the clock. It is beautiful from inside and outside. It has all the bells and whistles, such as the 360 degree camera. Loads of buttons, more buttons, the better the car is. It has the blind spot monitor in the rear view mirrors and also it has the adaptive cruise control which is here but now let's have a look inside the engine bay so guys have a look at it the emblem is not the the regular one it's not the 3d but rather the ceramic one because the sensor is behind and that is making possible of the adaptive cruise control but let's have a look at the engine bay as you can see <clears throat> the exhaust pressure sensor this one is already the updated one so with the metal housing metal pipe from the factory the dpf sensor is a different one and also i can see another third sensor which i'm not sure at the moment what that is for so as i said the car came for carbon cleaning which we're going to carry out and if i'm correct I believe this is the temperature sensor for the EGR which the ECU is complaining about but obviously we will find that out later and let you know what the problem and the solution was to it. So guys just to correct myself quickly this is not the actual temperature sensor for the EGR but rather a solenoid as you can see vacuum lines are going into it so the temperature sensor will be this one we will check that out why it is throwing the fault code. So we actually found out which sensor is triggering the fault code, which was that one, the third one, which is not present on the previous models of these engines. So that is a temperature sensor for the DPF. And this one, we were quite right. This is a temperature sensor as well, but for the EGR system. So how we found it out, we were, we were disconnecting the sensors. Um, this one and the other one and was checking for the live data how the live data changes and also what fault code gets triggered after we disconnect the sensor and we found out that was the one which was triggering the, uh, the fault code now we are trying to find out what is the problem with it Dan has removed the intake manifold and let's have a look at the carbon buildup the car having nearly 100k on the clock I would say it's fairly okay or fairly good for the mileage it's not even that bad then has finished with the carbon cleaning let's have a look at the results as you can see all the ports are clean he obviously need to still touch up the surface the mating surface but that's not big of a deal let's have a look at the valve laps clean as brand new so now he's going to assemble the car back together the car is running as you can see we've done the carbon cleaning from that side the car is okay but we also did let the owner know that the fault codes present is not related to the carbon buildup however because he's further away from us he booked an accommodation in the hotel nearby so we couldn't fix that issue because we didn't have or we don't stock that part which is necessary to fix the problem and he has to go back today so we've done the carbon cleaning. We did let him know about the particulate matter sensor issue and he may rebook himself with us in the future to get that sorted. Um, if he does, obviously guys, you will see how to fix that problem. But other than that, then is going to take the car for a test drive. Make sure we, the car is not leaking 
cook coolant or oil or nothing everything is good so the owner can take it back safely so i'm ending this video here thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the very next video take care and bye bye